And I really miss my mom. I really miss my mom. She's the only person I'm fully comfortable with. I have two really good friends in L.A., but I'm maybe 60% comfortable with them. I have to hide a lot, and I have to, like, unconsciously mask, too, because as a child, society looked at me and my behaviors and said, Russell, that's, that's not acceptable. No. So I unconsciously had to hide that part of myself. And now, being fully independent for the first time in my life, not only am I constructing a personal life from the ground up, I have to deconstruct the defense mechanisms that I unconsciously developed due to the treatment from the outside world telling me I, I, I'm too unusual or too weird or, or too chaotic or, or too much. But I'm not too much for her. She's like the one person who can just like sit with me when I'm having a meltdown. And that means more than I can express. You know, it's, uh, it's about entering my world. And, you know, it's about compassion. And I told you earlier, the Latin, root word of the, the Latin root of the word passion is to suffer. Well, guess what? Compassion means to suffer with. And that's what my mom does more than anything. She's not this hero who fixes everything. I'm not broken. She does the little things that most people forget about, like sitting with me on the floor when I'm crying. She's suffering with me. And that is, means more to me than I can ever express. It's the simple things. You might not feel like you're doing a lot, and you might be hard on yourself thinking, man, I wish I could do more, but it's the simple things that mean the most. And remember that. Again, you might not be told that by the individual, but just take my word for it.